Uh, Richard and Lara, you've come a long way to observe the elections here in Nicaragua. Um, what are you, your impressions of the day? Um, uh, what have you thought you so far? Why did you come? Um, my name's Larry Fisk. I'm from Minnesota, United States of North America. Um, Richard and I were part of a group that formed a sister city relationship uh, with Tucson, between Tucson, Arizona, and a town in Chontales. And uh, we first came to Nicaragua together in 1988. We returned in 1990 as part of an, an official observer team uh, that was in Santo Domingo Chontales. Um, since then, I came back in 2008, 2011. 2012, Richard's been back various times uh, working on a water system in Santo Domingo. Um, I personally have always you know, been in support of the Nicaraguan Revolution and, the, and uh, Nicaraguan sovereignty. And uh, you know, in my country right now, um, what reporting there is about Nicaragua uh, is negative. Daniel Ortega is a near dictator uh, trying to establish a dynasty uh, and the country is not, it's not democratic. I know from my personal past experiences that they have a good, solid democratic system and my belief is that uh, I need to support uh, Negro Nicaraguan sovereignty and the right of Nicaraguan Nicaraguans to have their own system, their own democracy and their own form of government. And uh, I've seen Nicaragua when times were very hard during the Contra War. And it's, for me, it's very uplifting to see Nicaraguans at a time when they're relatively prosperous, they're at peace, and the people are more relaxed than I've ever seen in this country. And uh, they look good, and I think they feel good, and I hope that they're going to have a, a great day. Uh, I'm Richard Luckemeyer um, from the United States, uh, state of Colorado. Um, we've uh, come down here to uh, witness the election, presidential election in Nicaragua. Uh, we spent the day visiting the, the uh, polling, uh, polling places. Uh, to see how the electoral process um, goes along here, and uh, it's uh, uh, for us from the United States, it's uh, uh, easy for us to make uh, a comparison between uh, the electoral process in the U.S., which is going on now, uh, and the electoral process here in Nicaragua. And uh, in the United States now, uh, people are uh, displeased with the process, displeased with the candidates, and that's in stark contrast to what's happening here in Nicaragua, where people are voting with enthusiasm, uh, and yeah, they even seem to enjoy uh, this day voting. Uh, they have been long lines. The process is well organized, very efficient. Uh, it's, uh, they, uh, they refer to this whole thing as the Civic Festival. And that's what it is. Uh, it used to be in times past that the United States was considered to be the uh, example uh, to follow of democracy in this hemisphere. Well, now it looks like uh, a little country in Central America called Nicaragua may now be the uh, example to admire of democracy in this hemisphere. It's a little country with big ideas. And, uh, well, uh, I guess that's all. Viva Nicaragua. Viva San Nicaragua. Viva. 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 Viva.